everyone, welcome back to another video. We'll see how this goes. I am actually in the car, as you can probably tell, um, and I've just had a really busy weekend since I got back from some work travel, and I was like, well, you know, I have this bag with me, and we're in the car for a little bit, headed, you know, from one place to another on the highway, so I decided to just do a quick little video to introduce you to this vintage Louis Vuitton bag. So this is the Jean Filet. So uh, in French, it means young woman or young lady is the translation there. But this is a um, very popular vintage style of bag. Uh, this bag was introduced at some point before 1982. So there are versions that you can find that are pre-date code. So for all my ladies who are born before 1982, if you're looking for a birthday bag, you might consider picking up one of these because if it's not stamped with the date code, it's pre-1982 and it might be a good stand-in for a birthday bag. So just throwing that one out there. Now this bag is in the GM size. There are actually three sizes of the Jaune Filet and I will put them up on the screen. I found a handy um, article online with all sorts of information about this bag. So if you want to get more info and kind of read it for yourself, feel free. Um, but yeah, it's nice that there are three sizes available, so you can really pick the size that would work best for you and your lifestyle. I find that this bag is super spacious and definitely holds everything that I need. So let me talk you through sort of the anatomy of the bag and what I like about it and kind of how I've been using it today. So this bag is definitely vintage and um, it has a really nice darker patina, so it's has leather that goes around as a strap on the bottom up to the sides and there's sort of just a white mark on the bachetta there or the bachetta that has been there for since before I got it um, and then over here on the other side as well now having owned several of these vintage style pieces one of the reasons why this is my favorite style for crossbody or shoulder bag is because of how the straps work on this bag. So unlike a um, like the St. Cloud, for example, or um, some of the other style bags that have a metal fastening on the side, what I like about this is that it is leather. And so it's not nearly as likely to wear out and tear away from the canvas. Um, the strap doesn't torque as much and twist and get all worn out the way that it does on other styles of bags. So one of the things that people say about this bag in terms of how you can wear it, like there are several holes here, so you can adjust it to wear it crossbody, which is what I have done, or you can take the strap out entirely. So you could unbuckle this and completely unthread the strap out from under the bag and wear it as a clutch even. I, would, I don't know that I would recommend that with this size, but with the PM or even the MM as a larger style clutch, you certainly could do that. In terms of space, there is a buckle compartment here on the front. And now to be 1000% honest, I don't even use this compartment. Um, in more contemporary models, they replaced the actual buckles with like a magnet, right? Like that's how it is on a lot of the more contemporary buckle styles these days. But um, this is a true buckle and the pocket is a flat pocket and so I just don't even use it at all. What I love about it is this back pocket. Which in this one is fairly dry. So one of the annoying things about vintage Louis Vuitton is that the lining um, tended to disintegrate and get sticky. And in more humid climates especially, sometimes that would mean that it would get moldy and gross. I purposefully found one that was dry in the back, so I can use this now for my phone, or I can further clean it up and kind of, you know, wipe this out. Um, some people use acetone to completely remove the lining uh, and just bring it down to like a fabric. I've done that in bags in the past, and I'm not entirely convinced it's worth the effort to be 1000% honest, unless your pocket is really sticky and gross. Um, but anyway, that's a whole different conversation. This is a very ample back pocket, great for putting like tickets, receipts, your phone, whatever you need to be able to put back here, you certainly can. 
And then this zipper compartment is quite large and it reveals a big open space inside. And then, um, and this, this particular one is leather lined. So it's not getting super sticky. It's not like the vinyl. And then there's another pocket inside that's just a zipper pocket. Again, it's just dry. It has, it doesn't even feel crumbly. It's just sort of rough. Um, but that's the way that it is worn in this particular model. Um, but yeah, a little zipper tag there that says the LV. And there is a date code in here that you'll find in the, the upper um, edges of the bag. So I'm not exactly sure where it is right now. I'll insert a photo of my date code if you're interested. But I believe this bag is from the 90s. And um, yeah, this is a bag that for an easy grab and go, I think I paid like in the range of $200 to $300 for this bag. I did get it pre-loved from Japan and I have been loving it. I think it's a great, easy, carefree bag. I use it in the rain, I use it in the snow. I am on my way to go do an outdoor adventure right now. And so I will take this bag on pretty much any kind of occasion when I need something that is just very casual, that I'm not worried about marking up the leather or damaging the bag in some way. So it's really, really functional. And um, yeah, I recommend it. I think it's a really good style for a vintage piece. And I have done pretty much nothing to clean this up since I received it. It was in good enough shape that I just fell into using it right away. But this would be a great candidate to clean up. And so I think in order to do some sort of rehab LV um, video, I plan to uh, clean up the hardware on this and show you how I clean my, um, canvas and my leather just so that you have that information if it's right for you um but yeah there you have it this is the jean filet gm and it's a beautiful bag and i definitely recommend it it's just such a fun vintage grab and go piece that you can't go wrong hi editing ab here just to say that I forgot to introduce you to my bag charm that was on this bag. I don't know if it was very obvious in the video footage from earlier, but this is a cute little bag charm of some glasses with like a little jewel in the corner over here. And this is an old Kate Spade charm. So it has the little Kate Spade symbol. And on the back, it just says, read between the lines which I just think is really cute. So yeah, I got this, gosh, like like 10 years ago and I still love it and it is holding up beautifully. And so I like to just put it on different bags here and there and it's been riding around on my Jean Filet. So yeah. Thank you so much for joining me here at Whitting Chic. We understand that no one wants to unwittingly make a bad luxury purchasing decision. So I really do appreciate you being here with me. And please do like, subscribe, comment, and be part of our wonderful luxury community. And I will see you on the next one. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Bye.